For our last step in our freestyle, we will validate our HTML and our CSS to verify we do not have any errors. And of course, if you do have errors, you'll now know, and you'll have to fix those errors before turning your project in. Okay, so first things first, let's go back to our pen, and I'm going to go ahead and export, and we're going to download our zip file. And I'm sure there's another way to do this, but this is how I'm going to go about it. Okay. And then I'll open up my download folder. And here is my zip file. So I'm just going to open this zip file. I'll throw the zip away. And then I'll just open this up. Okay. So I have my distribution. This is the source. Okay. This is the, the HTML uh, in the body of the document which you've written. And then this is the distribution. This is the entire um, document. So I'm going to open this one and let's just make, I'm going to keep this sort of off the side so it's easy for me to click, click and get it back into view, into focus here. So I'm going to open a new tab, then I'll bring this back and we're going to bring our file inside our HTML document. Then we can right click and we're going to view the page source and let's go ahead and just command a on a mac probably control a on a pc so we will copy so i'm just going to copy all my text and then we'll open up a new tab and this type in html validator and we have this one right here so let's go ahead and open this up and then real quickly while we're at it down here at the bottom we should be able to get at other validators and we'll go over here and let's get at the css style sheet which should be jigsaw so we're going to open this up in a new tab and then we have our css validator Okay, jigsaw.w3. So let's start off with our HTML. So we're going to validate by direct input. And let's go ahead and paste. And then well, I'm going to leave the default options, should be fine. And then let's check. And we'll scroll down and Ah, got lucky the first time. No errors. Very cool. Okay. So if we keep scrolling down here, actually, let's, let's go get our CSS first. Okay. So I don't believe it's down here on this one. It might be in the CSS. We'll, we'll go, we'll take a look here in a second. All right. So I'm going to select on my, click on my link for my styles, my CSS styles. We'll select all of our type and we will copy. And then we will go to our validator for our CSS. And we will paste. We'll stay with the defaults. You can explore the options, but we'll stay with the defaults. And let's check and excellent. No errors, ready to turn in. And this is what I was looking for. I'm not sure why this is not on the HTML page, maybe it is, and I didn't look hard enough. But if your files, if your documents, if your HTML and your CSS uh, come through with no errors, then you can copy these two code snippets and you can place this uh, code on your page. So I'm going to go without the P tag because I don't want this to drop down in my footer. So I'm going to select the anchor tag here and I'll copy this. 
I'll go back to my pen and we'll find the footer and then after this character reference here, we'll go ahead and add a space and paste. And then we'll go back to our validator. And then I'll grab this one. And I don't want the P tag. So, or maybe you do. Depends on the layout of your footer or wherever you want to place these. If you want to place them at all, it's up to you. All right, so I'm going to copy. I'll go back to my pen and I'll add a space after that last closing anchor before my footer closes. And we will paste and we will save and reload. Let's drop down and we see our two images. Now, these are up at the top. If you want to move them down, I'm going to leave that up to you. That's fine with me where they are. But if you want to move these around, you can target the elements. You could use a span. You could target the A tag. Uh, you could place a class inside. And you can then add um, margin to move these around. We could add some padding here, but then that would likely affect our text also. So you would want to target these two images or the anchor tag, or you might want to add a class inside. It's up to you. Okay. I'm going to leave that one up to you to explore if you choose so. All right. We made it all the way through the freestyle series. Excellent.